so I can tell you a little bit about this street. So when I was when I was a teenager and I was always wagging school, I would come to Melbourne okay. with my friends and we would walk around the streets and whatever. And we'd come up this laneway and on this corner here, about here there's a corner and it used okay. to have this piece of graffiti called and it said shut up and shop. <laughs> and I love that piece of graffiti. I never took a photo of it. If anyone has a photo of it, <laughs> please send, it, send to it to me. Send us a penny. Yeah, it was sad when it was gone. Oh. It's starting to get busy out here. And then we go to your intro, Penny, at some oh, point. The intro, yes. We can um at some point. We can do it. So maybe before we get your intro done, so what are we looking for? Like right now you're out. You've come an hour in outside of Melbourne to meet with me, so thank you firstly. That's all right. Um, what are you looking for? Um, I do look for the, just to see what the light's doing and that sort of thing. Um, also when I'm walking around, I'm always, I'm just walk, I'm walking to something. So I'll be going to a gallery or I'll be going to go get lunch or I'll be meeting someone. So I kind of am walking around trying to, just looking at what's happening around there. This laneway sometimes has good light in it, but we are in a bit of a... It's a bit overcast at the moment, yeah. isn't it? So we haven't got it at the moment, but yeah, you can get some interesting shots of like things across the street. This laneway actually had, when I did the 24 hour project, I had a heap of really cool old vintage cars in it. So something like that, which I'll take photos of that. Okay. I did also, I took a heap of photos reflecting off the cars, which was fun, but none of them made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you think you have, is that a style? Like, is there a style that you've got that you're coming out to try to create or, I mean, we've, we've had a, about an hour just chatting away about photography and your, uh, when, how you started, when you started and all that, but I'm curious to know where are you at now when it comes to photography? Like, for what you look for on the street? Is there a mixture of styles that you've kind of put together that's yours now? Is it, yeah, yeah curious kind of, to know about that. I'm really, I'm kind of looking for, I want to do like more of an abstracted sort of image so you can kind of see what the curve, what, what is in that image, but it's abstract. Abstract So bit. it's just, that's kind of where I'm heading with most of my work now. Okay. Um, but then if there's a really great shot with cool light and, you know, I'll have to take it, I'll take it. But, um, <laughs> like, you know, there's moments. I also, I really like looking for, like, sweet moments. Like, over the road there, there's the lady with the... I probably wouldn't shoot that, but I'll look at that and be like, the lady with the hat and the little girl's got the girl, yeah. yellow outfit on too. Like, it's just looking at people and... People watching, I suppose. People watching, okay. Best. So we'll go up here. Sure. And the light's all wrong. So <laughs> the light's gone, so it's not New York anymore. But, you know. So another spot I will walk to. So I'll walk up here and I'll look around these corners that are up here. And then I go to the library because the library's got a lot of... A lot of light goes into there. Okay. And there's always people there. There's a lot of people. There's always a group of people dancing, those TikTok dancers. Oh, yeah. Um, so. TikTok dancing. It's always fun. So, so if the light. Sorry. Yep. What were you going to say? I was going to say, if the light's not great like this, is there. A, do you change what you do? Do you look for something else? Do you do longer, longer shutter speeds? Do you do reflective work or? I might do some reflective work. It just depends what is around. Like I don't, I don't really like to draw attention to myself. Okay. So like right now, I've got a camera on you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, if the light's pretty crappy, I don't know if there's been times, and this is something about street photographers that, well, I've learned. You learn to fail in street photography. Right. So, like, there's times I'll come into the city, I'll do whatever I'm doing, try and walk around for about an hour or so and try and get some photos and I won't have anything. Like, maybe that black there. I'll look at that black there and I'll be like, well, there's, 
some interesting things. You've got the yellow tram. Like, yeah. There's stuff happening there. But I don't know. I probably... I might spend the time and shoot it. I don't know. So, it's so all about my mood. <laughs> So if you're, as you said, if you're failed on that day with, in your own kind of words, yep. does that affect you in, any, in a way? Like, do you feel discouraged to come back out or is it giving you more motivation or is it difficult to feel like you failed in that day? Not always. Cause okay. I've generally, I've done something else that day as well. Or, um, but in saying that, there's the whole thing where my, I don't know if you want to talk about that series that I've got. Yeah. Where that was, I was definitely in a real bad, like not a bad place, but I was in a, like I was over photography. I wasn't able to get anything that I enjoyed. And yeah, that was when I kind of shifted from the styles that I was shooting and I had started doing the slow shutter speeds and available light and that sort of stuff which doing that and creating those series has really kind of opened my mind to the fact that if I don't get any photos that day it's fine I can I'll need to go and find the right conditions to get it where gotcha. um, and then I've got the band photos too I've been shooting a lot of those this whole year which um, that's really easy to get good photos there. But some people <laughs> tell me, people tell me they don't believe that is it's that easy, but it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So if I don't get anything in the street and I'm off shooting bands, it kind of like, brings you a bit of joy. Yeah, yeah. It's still, you know, I'm still happy with it and that sort of thing. So you balance out that um, not achieving on street by getting some good photos at a, yeah. at a band event. So, and they're, they're pretty much, the two styles that I do for that blend quite a bit because I, I don't shoot, you know, your typical band photos, they're very blurry and I will get my flush out in that or I'll take photos of like the crowd or that sort of thing, so, and which will be a little bit blurry as well. Right. So there'll be a longer shutter speed with that too. So they kind of, it still kind of works together. So it's not your classic street photos, but it's... That's so good. Um, I wonder if we can maybe do a little bit of rewind and talk a little bit more about the Istanbul story you yes, were kind of touched on like, a little when bit. I was talking about it, I'm like, this isn't right. <laughs> <laughs> you just went a little bit too quickly over it, I think, in my opinion. Um, so, tell us a little bit more about that. It, it, it doesn't have to be super deep, but I know you were mentioning, as we were just ta talking about it, that I think you were out during a workshop and when you came back with a group. <laughs> You didn't really love the photos that you had gone, right? Is that, am I getting this yeah, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'd spent a couple of days in the workshop and shooting all day, or like the first half of the day, we'd catch up at lunchtime and then we'd shoot again in the afternoon and we'd discuss our work as a group, which was great. But I just was not, I was not getting anything that was really I was happy with. Um, I felt, yeah, it was not good. Discouraging, so, yeah, yeah. quite discouraged. And so I actually got to a point where I was like, I don't even know if I want to do street photography anymore. anymore. Like, I was just like, I don't even, like, what am I doing? Like, I'm wasting my time. <laughs> I'm overseas, you know, whatever. And then um, Julia was running this workshop and she suggested, you know, when you get to a point like where I was at, um, you know, go get your flash, go do something different, do something completely different to what you would normally do. Um, and so... I was just like, I'd send it to the group pretty much that I don't even know what I'm doing, you know. I don't know if I was that dramatic, but I was <laughs> <laughs> pretty much like I hate my work. But, um, and then, yeah, so I was like, I'm going to try and do some, I think it was panning shots. Okay. Panning with a flash, I think was one of the things I was going to oh, wow. try. So I went out and I, I think I took three shots. Firstly, I went to the markets and practiced shooting mannequins with the flash because I was like, I don't want to be shooting people with the flash. <laughs> And then I think I shot maybe four photos with the flash and I was just like, that's not working. And then I was, I kind of just looked at where the crowds, what the crowds were doing and where they were going and stuff. And I was like walking around and I was thinking about, um, uh, I can't remember his name, Andre. <laughs> uh, oh yes, oh my gosh, I Andre. forgot as well. Alexi. 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 Tent oh, yeah. Alexi Tentorinko, I think his name is. I'm terrible at pronouncing things and my memory's bad too. <laughs> anyway, so I thought about his photos because I, I do really love his photos with the long shutters. And 
there's a ser there's a couple of photos he does on these stairs where it's a quite a long shutter speed where there's people going and you can see the hands and the people are very blurred. So I was like, I'm going to give that a go. I'll, you know, see if this ignites something. And so I found a stairwell and went from the top and the bottom. I tried all different angles and it looked terrible. Like I was just like, this isn't what, no, nah, this isn't working. And then I kind of positioned myself in an area which was looking up the stairs and I just started doing some slow shutters that way and the way everything worked, I don't know if we want to show the photo, but I got one photo where I was just like, this is it. Like it was like a bit of a groundbreaking moment where I was like, well, this is, I love this photo. Like it's probably got so many faults, but I still, I love it. I still do. It's the one you showed me earlier, right? Yeah, We'll yeah. pop that in the video. That's, yeah. that's an amazing photo. So, and um, yeah, from there, I just kind of progressed with the, with that sort of series. And uh, instead of just shooting in that one spot, I kind of explored different areas that had very similar lighting and did the slow shutters and yeah, I was really happy with it. And that's kind of just to have that body of work and also to be working, like I'm still trying to get something to continue from that here. So doing that, I um, yeah, kind of just, if I don't get a photo when I'm in Melbourne, <laughs> I'm okay. Cause I'm like, I'll get something. I will get something. Something at some point. So it's that sort of thing, yeah. I think you, if I remember correctly, and then we're going to have a lot of noise in a little bit. Mm. I'm just going to quickly finish that thought and maybe okay. we'll stop for a minute. You said that you came back on that second day at the workshop with these new photos. Oh, yeah, it was like, yeah, the th yeah it was. Or a third day. It the next day, yeah. When they said. And, and so everyone was kind of pretty surprised because it was a very different, yeah. yeah. And they were really happy because it's, it's a great group of women and people that are there. And I think they were happy for me because they'd seen me in this, <laughs> not in a very happy place. And then, like, yeah, that I, you know, got this work and I've, did some stuff which I really liked and they... It's, it's a very inspiring story. It's honestly, it's, thank you for sharing that whenever you're so, ready. Um, one of the things actually with that series that I do really like and I think why I'm so much more comfortable shooting that style, like the blurriness, yeah. the, is because I, I like the idea of people not recognising themselves in my photos. So I like, yeah, I, I don't really want to recognise the person. I don't want someone recognising themselves. I don't want to... Can I ask you where that is? I really don't, I don't want them to be... I don't know. I think it's... I feel like I, I just want it to be... I don't know. Hang on. I'm <laughs> not sure. I know you said when we were trying before... <laughs> you said that... Um, obviously, you want people to be shown in the best light possible. Like You don't want someone to yeah. see their photo and go, oh, I look like crap, or I look like I didn't have the best makeup on or outfit on or something like that. I know well, that part of it. I remember that part yeah, of it. Yeah, that's very true. I I do want, if if someone is rec recognisable in my photos, I would like them to see themselves in it and like what they see. Um, yeah, so the blurry photo is just kind of, it's also, it's less, I suppose it's just putting myself more into the photos where it's not about, it's about the pe people still, and it's also about the environment and that sort of stuff. But it's also, um, it's a bit, it's that abstracted sort of personal. Your expression There's a bit more of, of a story. I find that there's a bit of a, um, <laughs> you can make a bit more of a story out of it. Okay. I suppose, a bit of a, I'm, I grew up in my teen years right through to my 20s just really liking surrealist stuff. And like, I like David Lynch films. Like, there's a lot of, um, that sort of thing where things that don't quite make sense and so I think those sort of photos kind of maybe go into that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It makes sense really to me. I get it. I get it. I can relate You've to that. You've got to cut out a list. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, no. Don't. This um, is uh, completely about you and your process and um, your philosophy about photography, your story. So um, it's, it's all going to be there. <laughs> Even the silly stuff that I say is going to be there. Oh, so. God. Um, so what are we doing now? We're at State well, Library, you said? Yeah, we can have a look around here. I generally, to be perfectly honest with you, I do come here, but I never really get any photos. <laughs> but I do like looking, because I, I feel like there is something here, and I'll get something here one day. I just got to work out what it is. So I generally just kind of wander around and look around, looking at the light and what's happening. and. 
because yeah, I feel like there's a lot of potential. It's one of those things what, where. Why? Just... I'm, I'm curious to know like, what brings you, what keeps bringing you back to the same spot. Um, well, the, later on in the afternoon, you do get a good, good chunk of light here, Come which through. is great. Okay. Um, and there's lots of people, and everyone's kind of, of doing their own sure, thing. Yeah. And there's like different stuff happening everywhere. And yeah, there's. Seems like Melbourne's a lot busier than Sydney is, especially. Maybe it's just my head because I'm haven't been in Melbourne in a few months. Uh, it just seems busy. A lot more people here Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's school holidays. Maybe. Oh yeah, school holidays. That's true. Yeah. Good point. I also like it. I like it here because you really you can distance yourself from people here. I'm not really into getting really close to people, so. <laughs> You can kind of it, again, that shows the, the vast um, <laughs> differences in, in styles that we've had on, on the channel so far. People who get really close and people who don't like to get close. Yeah, I don't want I'm to... I'm on your camp, by the yeah. way. I don't like getting too close. Yeah, so... Really, actually, you know what? We haven't done your intro yet. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Let's see, I'll, I'll step down here. This is a good backdrop. Okay. Let's do that really quick. Any? Hey, oh, my gosh. We've gone, like... Halfway through the video, <laughs> we haven't done your intro. That's my fault. Like, who is this chick? Your name, what am I saying? Oh, your coffee my of choice, Penny. your camera. My name's Penny Vickery. Hi, Penny. I, um, I just normally drink a, a latte. A latte. <laughs> and the camera I've got here is the Fuji X100V. So. Another appearance on the channel, the Fuji X100V. Another. Yes. Another one of these. Very uh, popular. But yeah, I do love this Beautiful. camera. I yeah. was saying. Like, oh, yeah, I love it. I probably wouldn't swap it for a Leica even, so. <laughs> That's where I'm at, at the moment. <laughs> love it, okay. So, yeah, what's, we got that out of the way, okay. Do? That's it, let's finish Woo. it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> As if you guys can't tell, Penny does not like being in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, what are you looking for now that we're walking around here? There's like lots of, there's lots happening. Oh, lots pan of this way. I probably should, I know what I should do one day is do what you were saying earlier, is, is you know, finding a spot and then just getting the layering and that sort of thing. Because I think that could be what's here. Yeah, it's just one of those places where, yeah, I like the moments between people, the people. that you see here too. Like sometimes there's just like really sweet conversations or there's like a some kids over there playing with the pigeons <laughs> like yeah lots of movement would you shoot those in a in a blurry fashion still try to kind of create some abstraction or would that be something that you try to get a bit more on the um, Christmas side I would probably do it in a blurry fashion I would need more light though to do it okay than now I've got a photo on um on a platform in Geelong that I took quite, I was fairly late, it was dark at night, it was on this camera and I had, didn't have my settings very well, this is a few years and it's just of a couple and they're kind of, I think he's sitting on a chair and she's standing and they're almost like together and it's a bit blurry and whatever but it's, that's like one of my favourite photos and okay. so I'm cautious about taking photos like that too because there is a private moment there and course, I don't want to interrupt yeah. them. So I would never get really close to do that. So I'm, I'm a distance. I can send you a copy of it. Yes, please. So yeah, it's that sort of thing. And I can see, you see that kind of here. Like even when we're down there at the lights, there were some people, I think they were kissing. <laughs> so like, <laughs> you know, there's just people just doing their thing. Yeah, I think we were talking about this earlier that we don't want it to be a, a cause. Someone's having a, like I said, a proud moment or maybe they're having lunch. And we talked about the feeling of if someone's walking away from you going, why did that person just take my photo? Like, why yeah. was something wrong with my face? Was it something I was wearing? We don't want to leave a bad trace in someone's mouth, right? Yeah, That's yeah, the whole definitely. idea is that um, we don't want to make someone upset or feel upset. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to, my, me wanting to take a photo and I don't even know what I'm going to do with the photo, what, put it on social media. Yeah. I might put it in a, you know, up somewhere. You but, may um, even delete it. You may not even yeah, that's it. keep it. And then that person's probably, they're walking away wondering what's going on, what's that person doing. So it's that, yeah, it's, but that's, that is street photography as well, but it's not something that I do. <laughs> I'm not comfortable doing it. Fair enough, yeah. That's great. But, you know. <laughs> You never know, maybe in a year's time I'll be Get more comfortable. completely different and I'll be <laughs> out there 
doing that, I don't know, my camera and people's face. Someone's face. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Um, in saying that, I've only ever had one person ever ask me, why did you take my photo? Okay. And that was just recently. It was like, it was on the 20, when I was doing the 24-hour project, it was on that corner over there. Actually, it's so just that corner that we walked up. And it was, it was a moment between, there was like four young guys and two of them had their arms around each other. And it was quite a, it was a really sweet thing in my mind. And this is when you can misread things. Anyway, so I took the photo and they're like, did you just take a photo? And I'm like, yeah. And I go, it's okay, because it was blurry. I'm like, it's okay, it's all really blurry. And I tried to show them and then they crossed the road. And they're on the other side of the road and they were kind of standing, talking to each other. And I could see that they were a little bit, they were not, not happy right with them, yeah. Yeah, about it. And I was like, oh, come over, you know, I'll talk to you. And they're like, no, you come over here. So I went back over <laughs> the other side of the road. And um, they're like, oh, just make sure, don't put, the, don't take our photo. And I was like, yeah, it's okay, I'm not taking your photo. Oh my gosh. And then they're like, um, is it legal for you to do that? Oh, no, I go, look, I'll show you the photo. And I showed them, and it was blurry. <laughs> it was blurry, but you could make out, you know. And they're like, is that legal? And I was like, yeah, it, it is. And then one of the friends are like, yeah, it is. And they're like, oh, okay, all right, thanks, you know, whatever. And then, you know, we had a bit of a chat. And then they're like, so where can we go pick up girls? <laughs> That's a very quick change in conversation. And I was like, oh, it was three o'clock in the afternoon. And I was like, it's three o'clock on a Saturday. I'm like, look at me. I'm in my 40s. I'm not going to know where you can pick up. They're like, oh, OK. And then they went off. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's so uh, turned wow. around. But that was really, that's the one of the first and only times that I've had someone, someone ask. Someone and, and I was concerned because when I looked at them and I got closer to them and I was talking to them, I could see that they had... They were obviously on something as well. Like, they oh, weren't gotcha. completely straight. So I think me taking their photo probably didn't really. Didn't help the situation. having a bit of a boys weekend, I think that it extended. <laughs> oh, my but God. That's anyway. a good story. That's a very good story. I love the, the, the ending. Why can't I pick up some yeah, checks? Yeah, where can we pick up? And I'm just like, what? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I'm not going to know. Anyway, so, yeah, that's... That's that. That's a good story. And then as we talk, that there's more clouds coming over and it's getting more and more overcast. Hmm. Would you hang out here for a little while? Generally no? not. I no? normally kind of walk through here and look around and kind of, or I'll just watch the scene or something like that. I've bumped into sometimes other street photographers around here too, and I'll have a chat to them. Sometimes there's TikTok dancers. Oh, I, mean, I do love watching the TikTok dancers. I don't <laughs> know how the they're not here today, which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Well, um, I do know another spot where they all hang out, <laughs> which is we the don't, car park we don't down have there. To, we don't have to go there. Um, but there's something where that's such... I want to work a photo, be able to get something with the TikTok dancers because they're, they are now, like, that's now. Like, it's something which that's I really would like yeah. to have, even though it's, you know, it's cringy, but it's so... Quite it's a pop now. culture at the moment, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and it's the same with, like, um, the scooters that are everywhere. Like, that's, out, that's what's happening right now, even though they may not be... <laughs> Around forever, but so it's do you, good do you to get you think about that on. as a um, photographer? Because you're documenting a specific part of pop culture or culture at the moment. Mm. Do you think about in 20 years' time, 30 years' time, that yeah. you'll be looking at back, or people will be looking back at your photos and kind of thinking about? I'm assuming things will change a lot compared to where we're at, at the moment. Um, from the technology that's in our hands, as the people behind you are <laughs> using their phones. Um, to what we're wearing, to what we're driving, to our architecture. Is that something that, that you think about actively or just kind of I back do, in your mind? It's in the back of my mind, but it's like the TikTok dancers. I know, I see them it's around now. and I'm like, I've got to get, I want to get some shots of those because sure. I love that, that what they're doing. They won't be blurry photos <laughs> as well though. So yeah, and also I, I think it's, it kind of stems from, I've spent a lot of time in like the, um, or like the custom car cultures and that sort of thing where people will get like a 50s car and they customise it so it's very similar to how they would have customised it in the 60s and they're all about this period correct. And then by doing that, we're, you know, you, you're also exposed to photos from back then and you look at them and you're like, but those cars that are in those photos are just your standard cars. Like, like you look at these great amazing photos and you're like yeah the cars look great everything looks amazing here the people are dressed this way but that's just people in the street and just the cars of the time and yeah so we've got to still 
I think it's part of like as as street photographers. I think you know something that I like to I think about and <laughs> try it. and put in there. No, no, that's great. <laughs> it's um, documenting the time that we're in. Um, yeah. I don't think about it too actively, but. Uh, occasionally, I think when people are on their phones, that uh, comes up in my mind. Um, when I see someone holding a newspaper, which is rare these days, someone mm. holding a newspaper, I think about what's going to happen in 20 years' time. Like, how are we going to react to what we see? <laughs> to pitch, there's a lot of pictures that came through. Um, how are we going to react to what we're seeing from this time? Because I love looking at photos from 30, 40, 50 years mm. ago. It, it's nostalgic. It's the way people dressed back then, very fashionable. Everyone's wearing suits and dresses, yeah, and yeah. Um, the cars were quite different, very curvy, as opposed to now where everything's quite boxy and um, big folds. So for me, it's quite interesting, and I, I do occasionally think about in 30 years' time, what's going to look like looking back at these photos that's right. from today. Yes. Anyway, that's me. Even looking back at photos from the 80s, or like in for the sure. 90s, you look at them and you're like, oh. Yeah. People are wearing their hair. Like, I don't know. I think it's it's a good thing to try. I think during COVID, that was a big thing where everyone... There was a lot of people upset about people wearing masks and they're going to ruin the photo. Like, That's right, people the People were saying, thing. oh, the masks, yeah. you know, I don't want them in the photos. But really, that's not going to happen again. So it probably was a good time for us all to document to have the whole that part, yeah. For sure? But yeah. All right, all right. Did you want to go somewhere else? Or um, did you want to hang out here for a little bit? <laughs> we can go for one bit more. I don't, you don't I have to walk. I've spoken about everything now. <laughs> well, let me, I'll ask you this question, which yes, I usually yes. ask towards the end. Is, okay. Yeah. Is there anything that we haven't talked about that you want to talk about, Penny? I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> Penny's not very talkative, <laughs> which um, is totally fine. We, we chatted for quite some time before we got out. Yeah, we did. I'm just trying to think, was there anything we talked about? We can have a look at these birds. They might fly, and they can be flying in the background. I love my pigeons. Oh. Um, but the light isn't that great at the moment. Yeah. When I was in Istanbul, and um, the people that I was there with would tell you, there's lots of pigeons there. And so I was trying to get some photos of the birds flying, so I just would run through all the birds. <laughs> I do that in Sydney quite a bit as well. Uh, but yeah. No, I can't. Was, can't I, I'm of? trying to think of anything within that we discussed over our drinks. And I, I think we kind of covered everything. Did we cover everything? Oh my gosh. I feel like the time has flown really quickly. It's all right. This it's will okay be the this shortest video I've done in a while. <laughs> well, if that's the case, oh my gosh, I feel bad saying goodbye. But <laughs> thank you so much so for bad. coming out. Thank you so that's much no for uh, sharing your story with me and everybody else. And um, thank you. That's it. Cool. Thank you so no, much. Thank you for you know having me on. And I it's appreciate you spending this time with me. It's been great. It's been thank you fun. so much, Penny. Cool. Bye.